Welcome again, folks, to Dr. Day's weekly healthy bastards health tip. This one again is for the blokes, you know. YMCA and all that sort of stuff. That's what the hat's all about. Now, three weeks ago, I told you where the prostate gland was. That was a beauty, that YouTube. Now, last week, we talked about um, what is prostate cancer and how do you screen for it. This week, I want to finish off the prostate cancer bit by telling you, if you are unlucky enough to get prostate cancer and you've been screened and found it, what is the treatment? The important thing is, there's a variety of different treatments which are looked at by a number of different specialists and you've got to be happy with whatever you're going to get. So let's phase in to this clip with Dr. Richard Isaacs, who's you know a New Zealand authority on cancer therapy, and see what he's got to say about the treatment of prostate cancer. And look, there's some wonderful treatments now, and the side effects are getting less and less. So thanks very much, fellas. Thanks for supporting Dr. Day's weekly healthy bastards health tip. See you later. So the treatments by the laying or prostate are getting better all the time, aren't yep. they? Yep. So the main thing is, is for people not to be scared. If they get the symptoms, find out if you've got cancer, if you've got it, you'll get to see Which, an expert. Absolutely, yeah. see an expert, mm. they'll discuss it with other experts and they'll give you the best treatment they can. Because the thing I find as a GP is, is a lot of people are put off with scare tactics, but often it's old treatments that nobody uses anymore. You're thinking okay. about like chemotherapy? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the drugs, but also like the prostate where they, they chop it out and uh, there's all sorts of side effects, but there's better and better forms of surgery now. They're isn't doing it? surgery yeah, more effectively than they were years yeah. ago with less side effects. There are still some risks, yeah. and obviously you discuss that with your surgeon. Yeah. But, uh, and the same with radiotherapy, they can both have affect your male function and you'd want to talk about that with the specialist. If you're unfortunate enough to be diagnosed as having prostate cancer, you know, on that they do a biopsy, don't they? They put a needle up there. They do about 12 biopsies. Do they? they? Yeah. But they put a tube up your bottom. They do. Ooh. A little, little uh, telescope yeah. with an eye on it. <laughs> do they? And teeth. Okay, teeth! <laughs> And they do a number of core biopsies yeah. in different parts of the prostate. Yeah. So say some come back as positive. Yes. Mm. Then what do you do? I mean, the person who does that is mm. a um, waterworks specialist called a urologist. Mm. Uh, in our part of the country, they mm. bring that information to a meeting of different specialists. So you get all mm. the um, you got a group of urologists, radiotherapy experts, chemotherapy experts. Uh, pathologists who looked it under the microscope, you all get together, you look at the information and you decide what the best treatment is. Mm. And that can be an operation, if it's localised enough to remove it, mm. quite a big operation. It must be hard to chop the prostate out because it's deep in the pelvis, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So most of the time they go up and under there. Or behind your nuts. So they can go in through the perineum sometimes. What's a perineum? That's just the... Uh... Sounds like a parrot. <laughs> Well, you would squawk, mate. But <laughs> they, um, it's just the area in beside your testicles. Yeah. Um, and, and they'll cut in through there and do that operation. Yeah. Sometimes they have to go in from above. Do they put you to sleep? Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> they do. And so um, if they do one of these operations, yep. do they fo always follow it up with radiotherapy? No, not at all. Mm. It depends how successful they've been at removing it. Yeah. Um, so, and, and there is a choice. Yeah because it seems that giving radiotherapy to the area where the cancer is and the surrounding lymph glands yeah. is just as effective as surgery. Yeah. And it's quite a difficult decision to decide which mm. to do.